Southeast Asia is rich in music, arts, and culture. Southeast Asia comprises of 11 countries, namely Brunei, Burma or Myanmar, Cambodia, Timor-Leste, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. Today, we're going to explore the music of Southeast Asia, specifically Cambodia, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, and Singapore. Dear learners, I'm Teacher Brenda, your guide in exploring the music of Southeast Asia. In this lesson, you are expected to first listen and analyze the elements of music of Cambodia, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, and Singapore. Second, identify the musical instruments of Southeast Asia. So, be ready with your paper, pen, and notebook. Listen carefully and take down notes. Let's discuss Cambodia. The traditional Cambodian instruments include tune gongs, saxophones, drums, flutes, and other light wind instruments. Pit Pit is one of the popular Cambodian musical ensembles or an orchestra that usually accompanies ceremonial music of the royal courts. Pit Pit is one of the popular Cambodian musical ensembles or an orchestra that usually accompanies ceremonial music of the royal courts and temples. Music is always part of the court dances, mass plays, shadow plays, and ceremonies. The instruments played in these ensembles are the violin. We have the sampon. It is a double-headed drum played with hands. The oni. It is a xylophone. The gong gong. These are gong circles. Skortom. These are two big drums similar to that of Japanese. Ching. These are finger cymbals. Myanmar. Sangway is Myanmar's traditional pop music and sample. It is made up of many different gongs and drums, as well as other instruments depending on the nature. Myanmar's musical instruments are categorized into two types, the loud sounding and soft music. The loud sounding instruments are performed in open air ensembles at ceremonies and festivals. Most of the same wing instruments belong to the loud sounding Small brass gongs in a circular frame. Sian Wang. These are the bell and proper. Thailand. History and geography indicate that Thai music is a conglomeration of Asian influences. Its musical principles and elements are basically derived from Chinese music while its musical instruments are inspired from the Indian and Indonesian strings and gong parts. The Thais combined and adapted their culture and created their own unique music. Music is theoretically based on a five-tone or seven-tone scale system. It is not only confined to the royal courts, but is also used extensively in dance, theater, and in ceremonies. Thailand has three primary instrumental ensembles that are similar to the other ensembles in Southeast Asia. 
we have the first big hat. It is a mid-sized orchestra that is performed in either outdoor style with hard mallets or inner style with padded mallets. This ensemble has different types but the highly ornate one is traditionally associated with funerals and cremation ceremonies. Vietnam Music shows signs of Indian influences. The visual in improvisation fields of chamber music, known as Rao in the South and Dao in the North, as well as music of onomatopoeia in drum playing. These are the categories of Vietnamese music. The first one, we have the imperial court music. The most popular of these types is the Nakuna that was popularly performed during the Trump Dynasty to the Mulian Dynasty. This form of classical music is also performed in honor of the gods and scholars during the temple. Second, the folk music. This category is extremely diverse because it includes music performed both indoors and outdoors. Third, religious and ceremonial music. Music performed in religious rituals or funerals. Singapore. Singapore's cultural life reflects its colonization by the British Empire and its diverse population, being the melting pot of different cultures in Asia. Folk music of this country reflects the culture and traditions of specific groups. Through the years, the music industry in Singapore grew, having Western influence performances by the Singapore Symphony Orchestra as well as ethnic music performances mainly by the Singapore Chinese Orchestra. Other performing groups with Malay and Indian influence are still prevalent today. We have explored and listened to the music of Southeast Asia. Let's try to check whether you can still remember the music that were played during the discussion part of this lesson. Your task is to listen and identify whether the music that I will play is A. Pimpit of Cambodia B. Sein Wei of Myanmar C. Hipat of Thailand D. Danak of Vietnam and E. Singapore Symphony Orchestra Write your answers on your notebook. your knowledge. 
This is Teacher Brenda quoting, Music is a great uniter, an incredible force, something that people who differ on everything and anything else can have in common. Bye for now, and don't forget to watch part 2 of this lesson. Thank you.